How's it going, everyone? Hopefully doing well. Welcome to the Char MLE 75. Now, this thing is a bit weird. It has no turret armor. As much as some of you may think, well, wow, this is so small, you know, it could ricochet stuff. No, nah, it can't ricochet anything. If you even hit the gun directly, you're probably just going to go and pen it. Um, <laughs> it is uh, an interesting tank. It does go quite fast. You know, 75 forwards in the turbo mode is pretty nice um, and 55 in a normal mode you don't really need a stab you can't put obviously a gun rammer on this because it is an auto loader and it fires three shells when you click once which will do around about 500 damage potential you know 200 so it'd be 246 but usually it's around about 500 because of low rolls so around about 1200 per clip is what you're going to get. It does have a very, very long reload though. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing with CVS, low noise and optics. And we do have the optics directive because this thing's really like view range is not good for some reason. We even have like situation awareness and recon and it's just not good enough to be a tier nine tank. 480 is very, very low. Um, what is the base re uh, view range? That's the wrong thing. What is the base view range? 370. That is really, really low for a light tank, especially at tier 9. Like, a lot of stuff is going to just outspot you. So, you have to kind of play this thing kind of in two builds. And unfortunately, I do not have the secondary build available. Um, but if, if I did, then I would probably go for something like full firepower. Um, so that you can actually... You know, maybe like turbo, vents, and probably not stabs, but turbo vents and then something else. I don't know exactly what yet. Maybe optics, just so you can spot for yourself if you need to. But um, yeah, this this thing's a bit weird in that respect. Also, something that's a little bit annoying is that you don't really get very good pen. Only 200, especially at tier 9, this is a problem. And 240 with APCR is an even bigger problem because that is going to then lose damage over distance as well. So if we hover over this, you'll see that at 500 meters, it's all the way down to 225. I mean, what are you meant to pen at that distance? Like nothing. And you're not going to pen anything or hit anything, I should say, at that distance anyway, apart from maybe your first shell. So let's get into a game. And we'll talk about this. Right, well, we're on Empire's border. As you can see, it does have a three second uh, time to switch between the modes, which is a little bit annoying, considering like the EBR can just change modes instantly and just be, you know, zooming around the map. And that does bring up another issue with being a tier nine light tank. If you do come up against a tier 10 and there are EBRs, it means you're gonna have an EBR on your team and there's gonna be an EBR on the enemy team. And what are you meant to do? Because higher tier light tanks are just going to have everything better than you, and especially if it's an EBR. So, yeah, it's um, a bit annoying in that respect. But that... <laughs> that is the gun. Uh, I'll go for a full reload as well. Why not? Yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird gun. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but kind of funny. You know, if you can try and work around it and make this work, it can be pretty fun. Obviously, an Empire's border. This is not really a map to scout on, and there's not really too much you can do. Um, what I will try and do though is go for this guy in a second if I can. There is quite a bit of a, uh, a time in between the shells, like three seconds in between each clip, or in between each shell. So to actually get your full damage out, it's going to take a while. Um, I would say that that's fine, but if you made it so it was like instantly, you could fire six shells within you know that short amount of time, it would be very very broken actually. So I don't mind that. There's that 
time difference between it. Um, three seconds is probably decent. Like, four seconds would have been maybe feeling a little bit too long. Ooh. Hello. At distance, obviously, you're not expecting to hit much. Um, obviously. But... Oh, it is fun. And you can also ram stuff because you do weigh quite a bit. As you can tell, uh, we took 100 in return for ramming the Barras for 400. I see this as an absolute win. So... On the fun factor, ten times more fun than the BZ. Like, you can actually have a... I don't understand how this gun can be so much more reliable than the BZ's gun. But, you know, whatever. Right, let's go out of the... He's just knocked down that there, so let's go... Just, it's just a fun tank. Good. And now we're back to only APCR after doing 3,100 damage. So you can make 200 pen work. When you come up against tier 10s, it's slightly different. You know, even then, like that pen is not really good enough to make it work really, really well. So let's go here and see what we can spot. Obviously we can spot through Rex. So there's that. Hmm. And we are going to be capped out in a second. Maybe we can get one more in? Nah. Oh well. 3.6. Very, very nice. So you can still play this thing, you know, where you just want to play it just for the, the damage. Um, obviously Vents is going to help you out quite a lot. Really you need two slots on this tank. You need two equipment choices because it's just unfair only having one. Another thing that I do want to mention is that you everyone should be running Deadeye on this tank um, because if you basically hit something, Deadeye will increase with AP, APCR, and heat shells. Um, HE won't make any difference, but it will increase the internal module damage of the tank. And since you're firing six shots into someone, you could quite easily go for the engine and the fuel tanks. And if one shot critically damages it, the next shot's probably going to set them on fire. And then if you're lucky, the third shot, after they've used a repair kit, or, or a repair kit, the fire extinguisher, could set them on fire again. Um, we're actually going to take slightly less APCR, because obviously we did run out in that game. Um, and let's go again. Like, this was a very, very nice game to start everything on. I uh, kind of showed off quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to change this, just because if I get proc, it's going to be annoying. Like, if I don't have, like, any of these. So, yeah. Onwards. Okay. Well, we're now in Arctic region. Um, or is this now Manaheim line? Manaheim line. Whatever. It's the same map, okay? Whatever. We're going to go, first of all, to try and spot anyone that's trying to cross. Um, and hopefully we can spot the G-Saw. Um, I mean, matching up against, like, a G-Saw against this thing is kind of unfair, I won't lie. That's, uh... Yeah. Although he does get a slightly better position than me. There's the G saw. We get spotted. That's absolutely fine because we can just hide here. Go up, see if the A and B T will die. Nice. Not a bad start. We get the initial spots off, which is good, and then we can run away again. There's no point us sitting in the middle doing nothing because nothing's going to happen. No. Yeah, sure, the G-Saw could come. Let's go all the way around and see if we can shoot people.
Hmm. Jesus was in that bush. In that bush right there. Let's see if he is, really. Yep. Hopefully we hit. Just wait a few seconds. Okay. I want to... This guy is blocking this. And now I'm probably going to get spotted by doing this. Um, that AMBT is very annoying. He's there. Okay, this is not bad at the moment. That's quite bad. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting this many people here. I won't lie. Yeah, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do there. They didn't spot anyone pushing down there. So we have all of these people here, and not one of them spotted the person pushing down. We did hit the G-Saw twice. Nice. Yeah. I mean, what was it? 15-6 game, something like that? Very, very good. Wonderful. Well, moving on. And here is what I mean. EBR. Char. <sighs> Wonderful. I mean, there's even a T100LT, so there is really not a lot that I can actually do. Why? Why? Okay, well... Right. I mean, I guess I'm just going to play aggressively because this EBR is stupid. There's a bat chat spotted. Uh, where's this rock that I can hide behind? There we go. Can I just sit here? I don't know. I have no clue. Can I shoot this? Oh, I can shoot this, can I? Oh, I can. Um. Okay. That works. Go for a reload. That chat is still unspotted, so I'm guessing he ran away completely. I mean, we still have 15 seconds. The CBR is really useless on our team. Kill on that guy. That's a lot. That's a lot less worry over that side because I'm pretty sure the bat chat isn't still over here. Okay, what I want to do now? Push forwards a bit. Okay. I mean, when I said a bit, I didn't mean quite like that. Did we have like 40% camo or something on this tank? We have a fair amount to work with. And the enemy EBR is dead, which is very, very good for us. The bat chat is also spotted again over in their base. Okay, let's see if we can now just chill here for a second. And see what we can 
can do because there's not really much point of us going anywhere else at the moment. That being said, now that that has kind of been cleared out in the middle, we can try and progress forwards. Like, these should all have shots, I think. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Why not? Sure, it'll go completely fine. Can I shoot these? It's a very slim shot. See what I mean about the uh, dead eye? Oh, let's go. So, and see what we can find. Mr. Tortoise! Hello! Hello, friend! I'm gonna shoot you. Uh, we're okay at the moment. You gonna go forwards? See if we can spot this bat chat. Bat chat. Hello, bat chatty. How is the RHM? How are you? Okay. Very interesting. Would have been funny if he had flipped. Keep this guy spotted. That team's slowly coming back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I wasn't expecting the VZ to just be sitting there like that. I don't know. That was an interesting team that I had. But they couldn't kill an RHM, apparently. What? How are they this useless? Oh, what, what? I'm sorry, but this is just pathetic. Even when everybody was spotted, and I told you where everyone is. Like, we knew that the back chat was at the back here, the tortoise was here, the VZ was here, and another VZ was here. They still didn't do anything. And there was two VZs against, what, six enemies here? Okay, and then he jumps off. I just, I... Genuinely useless. Well, that was a sure win, and... Yep. Just lost. I... I don't know. I do not know what to say. But what do I think about this tank? I think it's fun. Like, this thing is actually fun. Yeah. When you get into tier 10 games, obviously you need more gold. Like, the thing is, you need... You, it's like a necessity to have the field mods on this tank. It's unbelievable. Like, how much you need the field mods. Because you need to be able to switch out your ammo types. You need to be able to switch out your equipment types as well. But it's because if you're going to go into a tier 10 game, you go for like the complete opposite. You go for something like this. And then say you get like Himmels or something, you can still do incredibly well on Himmelsdorf because you can play like a medium tank. And you can then just ditch the CBS, ditch the um, bounty exhaust, put like vents in there. You could even put like the bounty aiming as well. You could go, you could go vents, bounty aiming, 
and um, even stab if you wanted to. Or I'd go turbo because you don't really need stab on this. But this tank will not help you with your teammates. As always, let me know your thoughts down below on the Char Emily 75. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you uh, click subscribe and a like on your way down there, as it does all help me out greatly. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be on the Iron Arnie. See you later.